Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. And I'm um, firstly I want to apologize if you guys can hear like sa 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 because it's raining um right now. And yeah, and then this part I'll be telling you guys what are the things you should take note of if you if you intend to buy this kit. So yeah, with for easy um uh, for easy of it, just with look at the manual. That will jog my memory a little bit better rather than looking at the mo that the model kit because I scared out there are some parts that I might forget. So first part here, the body here. Oh yeah, that's the lightning just now. Um, there's actually okay. The things that I had trouble was during this part the um putting on the pilot ear when I when I was trying to combine. The pilot head was actually slightly higher of it, so I would have I would have to actually sand down the pilot's head, so that it would fit in the into the body there. So yeah, that's one part to look at it, and then the second part down here. Um, yeah, this part here, the blue color part, if. Is the body the part I told you guys? If you guys haven't um, watched my review, I would recommend you guys go and watch it. So, this part when you watch this video, it will be more relevant. Anyway, let me continue again. This part here, um, the blue color part is a the very first part. Runners A seventeen and A sixteen is the blue part of it. So don't forget to put it, just like myself. And then here, here there's no problem at all. Okay. Um, this part, this part here, the if I'm not mistaken, this is the the white piece. Um, it might be a uh, slightly difficult to connect both parts. Um, so you guys would want would might want to sand down a little bit here. Um, let me just show you guys this long part here connecting. I recommend you guys just sand down a little bit, and then the top part here. If you guys can send, that would be great. This part here connected outside a little bit. Send it down as well a little bit. Then you guys will connect it properly. And next, the head here. Um, there is not much difficulty of it, but then yeah, like I mentioned, the sticker there. So that part you would have to be a little bit more cautious. And then we we'll look at the hand here. Um, the part that you guys would need to watch out for is this part here. It's a little bit misleading, so you guys be a little bit careful. And then this part here, um, this part, the front part here, coming out one, you would have to send a little bit as well. So yeah, and then here, here there's actually no problem. Um, this part is actually pretty well done. And yeah, this part I'll talk about here. The part that I had most difficult here, um, hand. This uh, actually, uh, uh, when you want to put, I recommend you guys putting this B one first, put B one in first, then after that, put um, what I did, I put B one eighteen in first, then this part here. Let me zoom, show you guys a little bit here. This part, send it down as well. Not too much, just send just a little bit. And then this part here, don't think that it's a short part. This part is actually pretty long. So you would have to adjust a little bit for this part and this part to meet, to connect. Then the last part only, you put this one. Don't think because this is the small piece, you should put this one first. In fact, you should put this last because this part you would have slightly difficulty in connecting them. And then um, right here, there's no problem at all. Um, the hand here, okay. Usually, um, with tapan kits, the the problem is this part, this long part here. When you put on the poly cap, usually this part would be a slightly thicker. So again, sand, and then this part, you can see this long piece here, sand, bottom here, sand it down as well. And after that, yeah, you shouldn't have much problem. And then this part connect connector here, you should sand a little bit as well. This part, I'm not sure you guys can see, yeah. And then here. Um, no problem, this one no problem, and then, okay, this part, send a little bit as well, this one as well, just a little bit, and then here, this one no problem, this one no problem, hands no problem at all, 
And then yeah, basically, these are the few important parts that you should take note of. And then um the licks the licks okay. The licks um this part here, this top part here connecting to the this leg. Um, you would have to send this one just just a little, not too much. If you send too much, it will be too loose later on. So just send a little bit there, then you would be fine. And then um, are there any parts some more? Um, okay, this part here. At first, you might think. At first, this part here connecting. At first, if I think it will be a little bit loose, this part and this part. But after that, towards here, you when you put on when you put on this piece, then it will be rather secure already. So don't worry about that. Just make sure that these two will be aligned. So when you put this on together, you will have no difficulty. So I think basically legs are rather simple, not much problem. And then now we move on the skirts here. Not much problem for me as well, um, but then this part here, these two, the back, the back, the back skirt, it, it will be rather loose, just like mine. I didn't show you guys because um, I just moved a little bit, so there wasn't much problem at all. But actually, there is actually a slight problem here because the, this part here connected is pretty loose, and then there's no problem here, and then the thrusters here. Did I encounter any problem here? If I'm not... Ah, okay. Um, this part... Um, yeah, you should follow this picture. What you should do... B1, you slide it open. Slide it open inside here. And after that, you would adjust to connect it. Make sure you do this part correctly or else... If like I like what I did was... I just put this in, then I just really clip on together. I did not rather find the piece here connected. If you do not do that, what will happen is this part will just remain stationary like one part like that. So yeah, I mean if you don't mind then yeah, go ahead. Then here not much problem anymore. Then yeah, the Mega Bazooka part here, um Mega Cannon. Sorry, keep on saying Mega Bazooka. Um there is one part that I need you guys to take note of. The picture is not here. Um, where is it? Uh, there's actually one guidance for it. Let me let me take a look. Um, it's not here. I can't seem to recall it. Um, I don't know where the picture is. There's actually two clip. Okay, but by the looks of it, this part actually there's no problem. Um, then okay, this part, um, the the part that you'll be doing off, I call that as um, white fang here, the fang of the teeth, the fangs of the teeth. Sorry about that. And then um, okay, the part this part here, let me bring closer to you guys. Focus, please. Okay, yeah, this part here, you would have to send a little bit. Some parts, okay, lightning just now. Okay, um, some parts here, um, you can connect it, um, to each other, rather quickly for the fangs. But some part, if you think, um, once you push it in, if you think it can't fit, don't force it because it will break. Like I, there's one part for me, it broke. So what you want to do is you will send this circle part here. Then everything should be fine. So yeah, basically it's just that this part you have to take note of. And then the part that I said I want you guys to take note of is this part here. Make sure like this picture I'll show you guys there will be two parts. Make sure the front part is underneath and in between these two parts. Then you would be and then you would be able to see your cannon move out like I did like show you guys in the review the, the mechanism. So yeah, actually basically that's it, and yeah lightning again, I'm sorry about that. And then here, this um, connector here towards the stand, you can't, you can't do it because it's first, it's too short, 
and the part this part here for my kit is actually a little bit um, larger so it will not fit so you have to find ways and means to get it done or you can just create your just put a stand and then have a stick and then have your toggy tree standing up like that but yeah so actually this kit there's not much problem about it mainly the hand or the hand here there's a problem but the rest it's a rather good kit i would say because this is the first time that i did not feel that frustrated in a way compared to the double o quanta that i built in the previous tap and kit but yeah if you guys can't afford the togis tree i mean um you guys can consider this kit or you guys can consider dragon momoko i don't know how good dragon momoko kit is yet i will be building that soon but yeah for now this togis tree is actually pretty good for me only downside is effect part i do not have the red color the beam where the beam when it turns red and hit 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 beam i would say so yeah i hope you guys find this video um useful if you guys want me to do more sort of like um cautious video on the on the um bootleg kit do let me know down in the comment and yeah i'll see you guys soon in another video of mine